Welcome back everybody to our skill capped update on the best specs to main for patch 9.1. With this tier list, our intention is to give you the best classes and specs to main for each role to give you the best chance to reach your goals inside of Arena. To break things down for you guys, we've gathered the thoughts and opinions of our rank 1 players. Not only that, but also a thorough analysis of statistics are used to cultivate the most accurate tier list for the majority of ratings. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skill Cap if you want to truly reach your goals and get better at World of Warcraft. There isn't a single other place in the world where you can get arena walkthroughs, commentaries, and even class courses done by some of the best players in the world, all for as little as $4.99 a month. Plus, we're the only service that offers a money back guarantee, and we do this because our service really does work. And if it doesn't work for you, you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. So, with all that said, let's jump into it. Kicking things off with our best melees to main, we've got Arms Warriors. Arms Warrior has just been completely dominating for the entirety of Shadowlands thus far, and even despite receiving a few minor changes, continues to do so. I mean, they literally bring everything. You've got the high consistent damage coupled with abilities like Sharpened Blade and even Spear of Bastion to make the damage really stick. While a warrior's damage is absurd, it isn't even their main strength. Warriors are not only super hard to kill themselves due to ignore pain coupled with defensive stance and the now lower cooldown on Die by the Sword, but all also go on to make the rest of their teammates a lot more durable as well thanks to tools like Intervene, Rallying Cry, and even Duel or War Banner. These strengths give them a ton of different composition options in both 2v2 and 3v3 alike and consolidate their place as one of the best melee to main. For this list, we're going to give you the two best options for each role. So joining Arms Warriors as one of the best melee to main, we've got Windwalker Monks. Windwalker continues to be a dominant force in both 2v2 and 3v3, much like Warrior having a wide array of composition options available to them. If it's one thing they bring in abundance, it's gotta be damage. We've all seen the clips of a Windwalker spinning and seeing the health of an entire team drop in the blink of an eye. Well, this isn't some 1 in 100 game stars align occurrence. Windwalker are capable of doing this every single game. One of the major weaknesses of Windwalker early season has been how easy they are to kill in such a fast meta, but with monks now swapping to Necrolord, a lot of their prior weaknesses have been glossed over. Right, moving on now to range DPS specs, our first recommendation to main is Beast Mastery Hunter. BM Hunters are essentially the ideal ranged class, having all of their damage being instant and for the most part unavoidable, giving them an onslaught of consistent high pressure. This is then combined with the standard Hunter crowd control, so having an instant freezing trap ready every 25 seconds. This combination of high pressure and instant crowd control makes them extremely oppressive to play against, especially inside of 2v2, where no other range comes remotely close to the success they're having. As for 3v3 though, Beast Mastery is quite limited with its composition options, but with jungle being hands down one of the best compositions in the game, there isn't really much reason to even consider any others. Our second range DPS recommendation is Fire Mage. Fire Mages at the start of the season looked like they were going to be in for a rough time, receiving nerfs to Kindling and Infernal Cascade. But who would have guessed this wasn't enough to keep them down, and they still remain on top just now with the addition of Ring of Fire, which has added so much extra damage to their setups, enabling them to have higher kill pressure even outside of combustion. Fundamentally, when a spec has this much control, instant damage, and is also at the same time unnecessarily durable, it comes as no surprise that mages are having so much success, and it undoubtedly leaves them as one of the best range to main for the remainder of Season 2. As for the composition options, mages are performing decently well in 2v2, playing double DPS, but where they truly shine is in 3v3, being able to play with most meta melee, naturally with RMP being at the forefront. Last but not least, we've got our healer recommendations. With the season progressing and versatility and stamina levels finally reaching their peak, the game has definitely slowed down a little since the explosive start of the season we had. And what excels when the game slows down a bit? Well, Restoration Druids, of course. Resto Druids have some of the best healing output in the game, with the consistent healing coming from their hots, combined with the multitude of small cooldown recovery mechanics like Iron Bark, Nature's Swiftness, Adaptive Swarm, and Scenarian Ward to deal with any amount of incoming damage. While they can play very defensive, sit back and heal and do extremely well, Druids can also help out offensively with strong crowd control and even damage. In 2v2 right now, there is no question Druids are without a doubt the kings, but even in 3v3, we're starting to see more and more Druids rise to the top of the ladder in both regions, even playing a wide array of different compositions, so if you want a very flexible healer to main, look no further. 
Moving on for our second pick, we've got to go with Restoration Shamans. Restoration Shamans right now are performing incredibly well in both 2v2 and 3v3, being the go-to healer for pretty much every single melee cleave, and even most melee caster teams, bar, rogue, mage, which gives them a ton of different options. Restoration Shamans' strength, much like druids, lies in their instant healing and recovery cooldowns. Between Riptide, Healing Streams, and the newly empowered Healing Tide Totem, you don't really have to cast all that much. And if you do ever fall behind, you've got tools like Ascendance, Spirit Link, and even Earthen Wall Totem to help recover. But being incredibly self-sufficient at avoiding and stopping crowd control or damage can allow them to slot into almost any composition. Not to mention their ability to play aggressive with offensive purges, lava bursts, and even the Deep Tremor Stone Earthquake Legendary. So, just to recap, you'll see on screen our recommendations for each role, taking the success of 2v2 and 3v3 into consideration. Maining one of these specs will give you the best chance at reaching your goals for this season. There are, of course, many other strong classes that we haven't included, such as Retribution Paladins, Disciplined Priests, and even Shadow Priests. But make sure you stay tuned, as we'll be releasing updated tier lists for every role in the upcoming weeks. So be sure to drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. And that's it guys, a complete update on the best specs domain for the rest of patch 9.1. Thanks so much for watching and good luck with the rest of the season.